Oh my God. What the hell are you doing? Ow! <laughs> what it is, guys? It's your boy Blast Miss HD, and today we are here to check out a video that a lot of you guys have been sending me. It's called Thieves Caught Red Handed. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. It's by Epic Compilation TV Twisms. I mean, Lego. I knew it was one of them, but you know. Definitely, definitely what close. The hell? Oh my God. What the hell are you doing? Oh, oh shit. Ow! <laughs> oh, she had that crack. What the crack hell are you doing? Too. Oh shit. The fuck are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, go. Go. Now police are coming. Okay, let's go. Cool. Police are coming now. I don't care. Look, you're about, you're about to. I took that bitch's cane. I snapped that shit on site. What are you doing in my house? What's wrong with you? What are you still doing here? What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? I'm not gonna. Your dog is not gonna do anything to me, sir. This ain't the plaza. You just kick it and hang out. Yeah. You kidding me? How'd you not call the cops the first time? What? Just going to jail. Call him again. Hi, this is Charizard. I fucked for Charizard, nigga. He look good. He's evolved from what he was in Pokemon. Now, he's a Russian female, possibly in her 70s. Old and scary. Oh, boy. Four men today. Mm. And I believe that the more men a woman fucks, the greater is her value. It's like the more books I read, the more languages I speak, the more dishes I've cooked, the more children I've nourished, the greater is my value. My experience, my love I've put into something increases my value. And I would like to say to the ladies, what would you do sexually? I'm reading off my Facebook thing because I just posted this, but what would you do sexually if the world didn't shame you or guilt you for enjoying it. Hey, I'll give you that. She needs to be leading women today. That's real. You know what I mean? Just know that I'm going to be in the back room somewhere like this. <laughs> yeah. That's right. With his lips. Yep. And not just Ooh. his own. He's not even being conspicuous. Oh, look at that. Yep, there he is. Good job. Oh, yeah. hey, good job. <laughs> hey, you guys are doing it. You guys are doing it. Like no one even caught him. Ooh. Ooh. God damn. Ooh. Damn. Damn, bitch. Damn, bitch. She ain't even pregnant. That ain't real. That ain't real. Pull your titty out, bitch. Not too right. Nah. She did. These hoes ain't can't trust her, man. She was really stupid. No, you got more shit. That's fire. See? They mobile with it, they got a scooter and everything. Yeah. Shit about to be tight. It's an operation. Bro, we about to get this money, bro, bro. Let's do this. All right. I'm going to go in through here. Okay, we're going to take separate bikes. We got this. Oh, I don't want this. But they didn't get caught. Oh, they got Actually, according to AR670-1, having your ID is part of your uniform. Okay. The United yeah. States Army Ranger. Stolen Valor. All right. Four brothers died with this fucking ranger tag on their arm. I would appreciate it if you took that off. Why do I have to take my uniform off? You take the goddamn tab off. That right there just proved it's not around. What's going on, Chris? I mean, if, I don't want to start an argument. I mean, if it's going to start an argument, oh, let's cool. start an argument. Not we're not starting an argument. Not we're calling soul. you out for fucking having a bullshit ass uniform on. You do realize that the 101st is like not this. a ranger unit. You do realize that the 101st is not an EOD unit. What's this man over You do realize that 75th <laughs> rangers are Putting not a fake part. uniform together. Oh, the man is just trying to steal some shit. EOD. What What's that? really messed up is, bro, he done spent like $300 on that costume. Oh, for sure. In order to get like a $30 free buffet every yeah. year. Try to get a girl's number. She's not going to be interested. Bro, uh, it, it, I'm not a valid authority. Because I'm a United matter, States Army fucking ranger, and this guy is not. My friend, that I have four brothers who died with this goddamn tab on their arm, and he's wearing it. 
and you never earn that motherfucker. That's why. That's right. Damn. You know. He's just gonna grab. Ooh. Hey, snatch and run. Yeah. You got it. You got this. Yeah. So anyway, these are these are really good looking uh, iPhones. <laughs> Game Boy colors. You know, I'm just gonna. <laughs> like, well, do you have any in the back there? The, uh, the yeah, baby, we are in the back. <laughs> you made it. Hey, how are you doing? So we got you on camera yesterday at Ralph's for $212. So just know that the cops are coming up here. They recorded your ass and everything. You took a copy of my fucking card the other day on New Year's Day. You know what right. you did. Right? Oh. You know what you did, right? I'm so sorry, man. You're sorry about what? That you went to Ralph's? You took a fucking copy of my card here while you said you were going to go get receipt paper. And they got your ass on fucking See, that's why if someone takes your card for more than like 30 seconds, be suspect so, uh, of that you shit. You know what you did, Watch right? that Before person. Before I fucking press charges and everything on you. So what are you sorry about? That you took fucking money from me and my kids? What are you sorry about? I'm sorry that I took money from you and your kids. I'm sorry that you had to come up here. I'm sorry. Oh, you fired today. You're sorry that you're about to lose your job because fucking corporate knows? Is that what you're sorry about too? I'm so sorry. All right, let's go. Shit. Oh my god, bro. That's the funniest thing in the yeah. world when someone does some terrible shit and then they start trying to convince you about how they're not like that. They're a good really? person in shape. I'm not like this. I just do it. That's I'm because not... you directly caught me being a terrible person. I steal, but I wouldn't not I wouldn't steal from you. You're a good child. Uh -huh. I really do go to school. I'm 19. I play soccer. So why the fuck would you how would you even? She tried to get her bio like, and check. I'm 19, I, I play soccer. I like long walks on the minute, beach. Please don't do this. Doing. You took a picture, or I don't know what you did. But you, you obviously thought I wasn't gonna come back here, and we are. You thought I wasn't even gonna get to the bottom of it. Right. Damn, she's super ain't. She's done. Good for her. Done. She Just deserved that shit. Yep. Uh, you know, I'm just inconspicuous here. No one sees what I'm doing. And I just, you know, just, you know, just, oh, look at that. That's cool. And reach back here, grab that little lock. You just go ahead and steal a. I mean. Quickly, to be fair. he's on this Game Boy Color. He's not gonna see this. Nope. And then, and we're about to be all right. And, and, you know and what? even he didn't quick as fuck it. right there too, bro. Should, come he's on. gonna leave the drawer open. You know what? I think I might go back and get. Don't you? No. Are you kidding me? I thought he was gonna go back for more, bro. Are you gonna go somewhere? She's still. This bitch is Why? still here. No. Because you don't want to. Well, you're about to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Yo, just, just can't you hit her? It looks cold outside. Just Jesus. spray the bitch with some Keep water. Back on my porch. It's not a lazy boy. Serious? What'd you say? You don't want me to let my dog outside. Trust me. I don't know what you just said, but it. Didn't sound like English. Let the dog outside. Picked the wrong house, the wrong day, the wrong person. It's Overland Park. It's my hood. Ah! It's Johnson County. It's my she hood. just straight waved his ass off. I like that. I, I do that shit. Are you kidding me? I like that shit. Unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, we don't. I didn't. I don't see no light. Hey, that bitch. Oh, she buff too. Yup. Not here. Not here. No light. Yeah. Not here. 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 Not See, I can't fit nothing in my penis. What the fuck is that shit? Come on, 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 come
Damn, bitch had onions and everything. Uh, I I just think it's really cute. And it had a black tank top attached underneath it. But I had to take it off because um, that's what had the the thing that makes makes everything beep um, when you come out of the store. So I had to take that off. Um, but it didn't ruin the shirt. Or Why are you telling people that? Really yeah. So it's kind of like mm. cropped. It's like um, short. So you just wear like a long tank top. Is this that much easier than just getting the job, bitch? So I'm For glad real. I picked that up. Oh boy. Now jewelry. Fucking town. That's what they call me pop. That'd have been great. If the police are kicked in her door. Yeah, <laughs> right on the spot. Bro. She's trying to brag on social media. I stole all of these things. If you commit a crime, don't go live on Facebook. Don't tell people. See, I waited like 10 years after I did all my crime That's to right. tell people, man. That's I right. waited until I was completely legit to tell y'all about the crime. Aside from when they caught me. There it is. Perfect. Hello? Yo, let him through. Yeah. Hey, you too. Thank you. Who's a female, man? I had to do my deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but I, I gave you the look. You knew it worked. The female, she uh, was too uh, uh, She uh, was like, oh, I'll just uh, send it through. <laughs> that's right. Sadate. <laughs> Don't even know if that's a word. It is now. Shit, you ain't never lied. What was I saying before that? The chick was stealing or something. Oh yeah. I oh know. yeah. I was on my oh, crime. crime. The last thing I stole yeah. was Minnesota boys' electricity. <laughs> you know Think what about mean? the shit we can tell them in ten years from now. The stuff we were doing just earlier today. Bro, that's you know, real, man. That stuff. Peed on street light. I'm speaking that in existence, man. I'm gonna piss on that nigga. He's a YouTuber. And he stole $15,000 from me. Fucking hired his team called Red Empire to edit a bunch of my vlog videos. I gave him 46 videos and a shit ton of money. It's like 21, 22 Gs. He edited 16 of them and then asked for more money. And I was like, but I- I gave you a bunch of money. I gave you all the money to do all 46. Yeah. You only did 16. And he's like, well, I need more money to keep doing videos. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. But it makes it better because he then started yelling at me about how I was broke because he stole money from me. Have you ever run into somebody who did really shitty shit to you? And I was like, okay, so if you only gonna do 16 videos, I'm gonna need the rest of my money back. And he was like, man, that's not the way business is done. And I was like, that's good. Oh boy. But don't worry, I'm gonna tell the full fledged story on that one. Yeah, street light, I'd pee on him. He seems like a pretty feminine guy. Well, help film it. Hey, that's what's up. Yep. If you listen to any of his rap music, we see what I'm talking about. Nigga wears nothing. Nothing but tight, thin shirts and housewife hats. Weird. That's weird. He calls himself a rapper. I'm like, I it is. But it's good to know that he didn't do good. But then again, that's probably because he's just stealing from multiple people. I mean, you talking about him right now is probably the most shine he's ever gotten. In a long, long mm -hmm. time. In the movies, criminals are often portrayed as suave, sophisticated figures who rob banks and museums in tailored suits with high-tech gadgets. Unfortunately, the reality is a little bit less glamorous, and most thieves are considerably less intelligent than the characters we see on the silver screen. Today, we're going to find that out firsthand, checking out a police lineup of clumsy criminals, bumbling burglars, and moronic shoplifters, as we take a look at some seriously stupid thieves who were caught on camera. If you've ever watched a heist movie, you'll know that a successful robbery requires a few things. A ragtag crew of misfits, a montage sequence, and most importantly, the perfect escape vehicle. Unfortunately, this first stupid thief missed that memo. After robbing a store and running into the parking lot, this dim-witted criminal took his eyes and hands off the prize by chucking his ill-gotten gains into the back of his open-top truck. Everybody loves a good chase sequence, but this one was a little anticlimactic as an employee casually jogged up to the truck, grabbed the stolen goods, and waltzed away, forcing the thief to drive off empty-handed. 
The criminal's terrible choice of getaway vehicle is pretty embarrassing, but incredibly, he isn't the only thief who was foiled by a pickup truck. Damn! Believe it or not, this isn't a deleted scene from Home Alone, and the crafty homeowner behind this booby trap is Katie Camarena from Porterville, California, not Kevin McAllister. In the weeks prior to this video, Katie's neighborhood had been targeted by a gang of criminals who'd started sneaking up on people's driveways in the dead of the night and stealing tools out of their vehicles. Katie's motion-activated porch light didn't deter the criminals and the police were of little help. So the Camarinas decided to take the law into their own hands. Unfortunately, these suburban vigilantes didn't actually don masks and weapons to clean up the mean streets of Porterville. Instead, they grabbed a motion-activated lawn sprinkler and rigged it up to their truck. The trap worked perfectly, and when this criminal pulled into the Camarina's driveway that evening, all the thief cycled away with was a face full of water. Well, I assume he was a thief. Hopefully that wasn't the local paper boy. Well, between that getaway fail and the cat burglar who was scared off by a spritz of water, which criminal did you think was dumber? So that criminal didn't steal a single tool, but the Camarina's DIY booby trap definitely made him look like one. He shouldn't feel too bad, though. Some criminals don't need outside help to make themselves look stupid whilst committing their crimes. Walmart's official slogan is, Save money, live better. And this criminal decided to heed their advice, saving himself a ton of cash by stealing from the store. God, As Jesus. the dim-witted thief took his items with a five-finger discount, he wasn't too concerned with subtlety, shoving a giant box under his hoodie and hoping for the best as he stood in line. There isn't much information about this criminal online, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he probably got caught. While that was a pretty pathetic attempt at crime, not every criminal is so inept. This thief is like a magician. Able it's the strongest vagina known to man. Good lord. I don't know rather to be turned on or scared. Possibly a mixture of both. Good lord. Well, to lift up her dress and make an entire television disappear in the blink of an eye. She stuck it the right in there. The crime occurred in Guapeles, Costa Rica, back in 2015. Oh my and god. And although the woman looks pretty stupid squatting over the television box, the way that she holds it between her legs, covers it with her dress, and walks out of the store that naturally is undeniably impressive. I've heard people use the term as thick as thieves, but I didn't realize they were talking about their thighs. Yep, According did. to the local authorities, this woman was never identified or caught by the police, so you might be wondering why I'm calling her stupid. Well, one, the camera was right there. Two, stop defending criminals. And three, look at what would have happened if she'd been caught. Vamos lá, vamos ver o que tava escondido aí. Vamos lá, vai tirando, vai tirando, yep. tira tudo. Yep. Pull it right out your vagina. Vai lá. Huh? Que bonito, hein? Don't you play no games. Vai no chão. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vai lá. Yeah, yeah. Vamos lá, vamos yeah. lá, vai tirando aí. Check her breasts. We gotta check her boobs as well. Vira pra cá, vira aqui, ó. Ei. These two women from Brazil tried to emulate our favorite Costa Rican criminal, but unfortunately, they didn't have the thigh strength to pull off the job. The thieves reportedly grabbed a number of toiletries from this store before stuffing them in their underwear and attempting to walk out without paying. Fortunately, they were caught with their pants down as the eagle-eyed shopkeeper spotted what they were doing and forced them to lift up their dresses, revealing their stolen booty. I'm glad the shopkeeper caught the thieves, but I really hope they didn't put those products back on the shelves without giving them a deep, deep clean first. It turns out this method of shoplifting is pretty common, although some criminals are more creative than others. Yep, like a fucking kangaroo. Just shove they it right down the front of it. Pain. But when this criminal chose to steal a top from this clothing store, I don't think she anticipated quite how painfully embarrassing it would be when she got caught. This shoplifter is a little bit craftier than those Brazilians, boasting a pair of customized shorts with a built-in pouch that allowed her to hide her stolen goods like a criminal kangaroo. Unfortunately, she got all dressed up for nothing, and after being caught by a shopping attendant, she was forced to stand and wait as they lifted up her dress and exposed her crimes to the rest of the store. The yep. way that that criminal was exposed was pretty embarrassing, but at least she put some thought into her robbery. 
The same can't be said for this next thief. As this Australian teenager placed a crate full of alcohol on this store's counter and sidled up to the automatic doors, he thought he'd orchestrated the perfect crime. The thief planned to snatch the booze and run straight out of the store before anyone had time to react, but unfortunately, the shopkeeper was one step ahead of him. The shopkeeper had noticed the teen's shifty behavior, prompting him to casually reach to his left and use a wireless key fob to lock the store's doors right at the beginning of the video. As a result, when the kid tried to grab the drinks and run, he found himself trapped inside the store. Nick. He'd attempted to steal some pre-mixed Jack Daniels and Coke, but thanks to that shopkeeper's quick thinking, the kid ended up with Jack, forcing him to awkwardly search for cash in his pockets and have the world's most embarrassing conversation with the man he just tried to rob. Let's move from petty thieves and shoplifters to a criminal who tried to steal something a bit more substantial. Are you serious? What are you going? This thief from New Jersey was skilled enough to steal an entire ATM, but unfortunately, he'd forgotten to hire a getaway driver. With no way of getting the ATM home, he decided to turn to public transport, lugging the machine up to a bus and asking the driver for a ride. I don't know how much bus drivers earn in New Jersey, but this one is clearly happy with his salary because he closed the doors and left the criminal stranded on the side of the road. This video was absolutely hilarious, but it was originally uploaded by internet comedian and influencer Darius DK, so unfortunately, there's a good chance that this is actually a staged prank. Even if the ATM robbery is fake, there are equally shocking examples of real criminals getting stuck in sticky situations. How the hell did he get in there? This video from Andhra Pradesh, India shows the moment that a burglar was discovered calling for help after getting stuck in a hole in the side of a temple. The thief had reportedly broken into the temple through a small ventilation window before filling his pockets with holy ornaments made out of silver. Then when the criminal tried to climb back out through the hole, he got stuck, left hanging out of the wall as his legs kicked around inside. That's a damn Talk shame. about karma. After struggling for a while, the thief was forced to shout for help, alerting some passers-by. Unsurprisingly, these locals weren't particularly understanding, and instead of helping the criminal escape, they filmed him and called the police. I'm not sure how long the thief was stuck in the wall for, but something tells me he'll be stuck behind bars for a little bit longer. The footage of the criminal is pretty damning, but still, it could be worse. At least he wasn't literally caught with his pants down. This criminal from Tucson, Arizona found himself in one of the most incriminating positions in the world, as he was caught hanging upside down on the fence of an elementary school. What type of nasty shit were you doing? That looks like he into some sort of freak type-ish. Hanging upside down like he got some dominatrix female that was doing painful, dirty stuff to him, but except like left him there because he ran out of money or either robbed him and then just left because that's what they usually do. Gotta be careful, man. With his pants around his ankles. According to an eyewitness, the criminal climbed and slipped off the fence of Miles Elementary School in an attempted break-in. Apparently, as the criminal fell off the fence, his baggy pants got caught on its spikes, leaving him hanging by his ankles with his tidy whities on show. The cops soon arrived on the scene, helping the criminal down from the fence before cuffing him and placing him in another tricky position, the back of a police car. It still isn't clear why the man was attempting to break into an elementary school. Maybe he was there for, I don't know, coloring books? No, Isn't being that good? stupid, I doubt he even has the capacity to color inside the lines. 
That guy found himself in a pretty embarrassing situation, but he isn't the only criminal who was caught hanging upside down. This thief in England was found hanging by his shoelaces after attempting to break through a window and burgle a house in Dartford, Kent. According to the local police, as the burglar tried to climb through the broken window, he managed to slip over while simultaneously getting his shoe and shoelaces trapped in the window frame. The criminal was left hanging upside down for over an hour as a crowd of 30 passers-by gathered to watch the commotion and mock him. When the homeowner got back from work, the burglar reportedly begged to be let down, but unsurprisingly, the homeowner called the cops instead. This next criminal encountered a similar problem whilst breaking and entering. That's about to break. That's going to break. Oh, it didn't break? It didn't break. Hey. Tell me he doesn't break that with his backpack. This footage shows the moment that a criminal from Melbourne, Australia attempted to break into a bookstore. As the burglar's backpack gets caught in the store's door, he struggles with it for a considerable amount of time. Who steals a book? Who robs a bookstore? What? Pulling with all of his strength before realizing he can just take it off. Despite robbing a bookstore, this thief clearly lacks the brain cells to be able to read. However, against all odds, the criminal was somehow successful, and he was later recorded exiting the store with their safe lugging the heavy container down the road. Well, he got away with the goods, though I'd argue the video of his slapstick break-in is worth ten times whatever was in the safe. All those felons fell at the first hurdle. However, even when thieves make it inside the place they're robbing, there's still plenty that can go wrong. Is he serious? He's really crawling on the floor. What the fuck? Who does he think he is, 007? We in the first world war, bro? R really? Come on, dog. Now I know what you're thinking. The new Mission Impossible looks really low budget. Well, in reality, this security footage comes from Australia, not Hollywood. And it shows the moment that a suburban home was burgled by a criminal known as the Brighton Crawler. That nickname sounds pretty terrifying, but when you watch this bumbling criminal drag his belly across the ground, it's kind of hard to be intimidated. When the crawler first broke into the home, he actually managed to notice the security cameras, prompting him to stop, drop, and crawl out of sight. This display of intelligence was pretty short-lived, and as he tried to crawl across the floor to avoid being seen, he accidentally shuffled his way into view. If that wasn't stupid enough, the crawler then turned and stared straight at the camera, giving the cops a clear look at his face. According to the police, the crawler attempted to steal two safes from the home, but when a neighbor came to investigate the disturbance, he ran away and climbed over the garden fence, escaping empty-handed. Unfortunately, the police haven't been able to identify or track down the criminal, so as of now, the Brighton Crawler is still at large, slithering around the streets of Australia in search of a new house to unsuccessfully rob. The home security cameras got a pretty good look at the crawler's face, so he's incredibly lucky that the police weren't able to identify him. Committing a crime like that without wearing a mask seems pretty dumb, but then again, a disguise doesn't always make a criminal harder to track down. When this criminal from Belleville, Illinois decided to hold up a gas station, he had the bright idea of wearing a mask. Unfortunately, his choice in disguise left a lot to be desired, as he walked into the store and robbed the cashier with a see-through plastic bag over his head. Oh boy! The criminal only stole $60 from the gas station, but to be fair, that was probably all he could carry. It's not like he could use the bag he brought. Unsurprisingly, when this CCTV footage was shared with the police, it didn't take them long to identify the criminal and arrest him, and he was later sentenced to 15 years in prison for the robbery and a string of previous offenses. 
The Plastic Bag Bandit is pretty dumb, but he has some competition. I really thought his name was the Plastic Bag Bandit for a second. I'd have lost it on camera, yo. These shoplifters were caught on camera stealing alcohol from a convenience store in Louisa, Virginia, while donning two carved-out watermelons fitted with eye holes. It isn't clear why the melon-headed criminals decided to don these makeshift melon masks, but it didn't take long for the Louisa Police Department to identify one of them as 20-year-old Justin Rogers. Justin was charged with larceny, and while the police didn't explain how they tracked him down, if I had to guess, I'd say they probably used their own melons. Let's move from shoplifting to white-collar crime as we check out the story of an independent contractor who had to pay $563 in damages and serve two years of probation after attempting to defraud the company he was working for. Motherfucker. This is Alexander Goldensky, an independent contractor who decided to have a change in career, trying his hand at acting and insurance fraud at the same time. In this video, Alexander clearly pours a cup of ice on the floor before stepping on a cube and pretending to slip over. Yep, After there the go. video ends, the fraudster reportedly rolled around on the floor for a while until one of his colleagues found him and called an ambulance. After being taken to hospital, Alexander filed a large insurance claim against the company, asking them to pay for his ambulance ride and the supposedly expensive treatment he received for his non-existent injuries. The company were happy to pay, but first they had to conduct an investigation into the incident. An investigation that uncovered this damning surveillance footage. The embarrassing video incriminated Alexander immediately, and instead of receiving a big insurance payout, he was forced to pay $563 in restitution to the insurance firm, serve two years of probation, and undergo 14 hours of community service. All in all, Alexander's career as a fraudster didn't work out, and he's unlikely to get hired as an independent contractor ever again. Did he get fired though? However, if I was him, I'd try and find myself an agent and book some auditions. With acting chops like this, he was clearly born to be on the silver screen, not the floor. Watching Alexander shamelessly steal from work is pretty disheartening. However, not all criminals are so dishonest. Some of them genuinely love good old-fashioned hard work. What is he doing? I don't get it. This criminal is either the stupidest or the most thoughtful thief in the world. Because after stealing a lawnmower from a house in Port Arthur, Texas, he decided to do some yard work, heading out into the garden and mowing the homeowner's lawn. When the police arrived, the crook reportedly ran away from the cops, dragging the lawnmower behind him. Unfortunately, the weight of the lawnmower was too cumbersome, prompting him to ditch it in an alleyway before making his escape. The police used the security camera to identify the thief as a local criminal called Marcus Hubbard. However, they weren't able to track Marcus down, and they're reportedly still looking for his whereabouts. If you ask me, even if the cops do find Marcus, the real winner in all of this is the homeowner. After all, they got their lawnmower back and their lawn mowed for free. Yep. Sounds like a win-win to me. That's real. Marcus managed to get away from the cops, but not all criminals are lucky enough to evade arrest. Back in 2017, John Bell from Houston, Texas tried to rob a cell phone store, storming in with a gun and demanding that the shopkeeper empty the cash register. Unfortunately, he was immediately outsmarted by both the shopkeeper and her customers as they quickly rushed out of the store and locked the door behind them. At this moment, John became the hostage as he was stuck inside the store with no way of getting out. Most thieves want to break into places, but over the next eight minutes, John did everything he could to get out of the building desperately kicking and ramming the door in futile attempts to break through the glass and steel bars. Unfortunately, he was as skinny as he was stupid, and after a few minutes of prying and begging passersby to let him out, the police arrived, arresting the criminal before later sentencing him to five years in jail. 
although technically he'd already served eight minutes. Now this next thief's breaking and entering skills are more efficient than stupid. However, the target of his burglary makes him look pretty dumb after he put in all that effort to steal a Mickey Mouse toy from a piano store. I've heard of a cat burglar, but this thief's interest in plush mice is pretty confusing. What? Nobody's sure why the criminal stole such a worthless item, but hey, thieves are people too. Maybe he just gets lonely at night. The thief was never identified, but luckily a local charity bought the store a new Mickey Mouse toy for the window and threw in a plush Minnie Mouse as an added bonus. That's a nice gesture, or should I say, a mice gesture. <laughs> yeah, I'll see myself out for that one. You, you shouldn't say that. I'm not sure why a thief would steal a plush toy, but this next criminal has a much clearer motive for his crime. Hunger. This criminal gave a new definition to the term caught red-handed after attempting to steal a rack of lamb meat from a kebab restaurant. Unfortunately for the thief, these rotating skewers are super heated to cook the lamb meat and keep it warm throughout the night, a fact that he only learned after grabbing the metal. The thief's eyes were bigger than his stomach and his pain tolerance as the heat forced him to flee the shop with nothing but burnt hands and a bruised ego. Don't get me wrong, stealing food from a restaurant is pretty immoral behavior, but do you know what's even worse? Being a quitter. That bandit's lack of commitment to his crime is disappointing to see, but to be fair, he isn't the only criminal who gave up at the first hurdle. Just steal the shit. Oh my God. Run, bitch. Oh, they shooting. They shooting back. Oh my God. That's a dead. I just opened the gate. When this porch pirate from Tacoma, Washington decided to steal this package, he saw it as a way to make himself some easy cash. Little did he know this house was far from an easy target, and he'd accidentally stumbled upon the home of Jeremy Barrow, the creator of an anti porch pirate booby trap called the Blank Box. The Blank Box's story starts back in 2017 when Jeremy's packages were getting repeatedly stolen by porch pirates. Jeremy decided to get some revenge on the thieves, so he constructed a fake package out of blank shotgun shells and fishing wire that lets out a flash and a bang when lifted. As you can see, Jeremy's so-called Blank Box was pretty effective at deterring porch pirates, and before long, every criminal who tried to rob Jeremy was sent running away, sprawling across his front yard in fear. The gadget worked so well that he started selling them, setting up an online store to help other people with a porch pirate problem. Instead of spending a ton of money on advertising, all Jeremy had to do to sell the product was buy a porch camera, set up a YouTube channel, and expose every thief who tried to steal his packages, showing how effective the blank box is at keeping his delivery safe. Exposing all those porch pirates online must be pretty satisfying for Jeremy. However, I'm not sure he should bother going to all the effort because sometimes the stupidest criminals expose themselves. Back in 2012, Hannah Sabata from Waco, Texas decided to go on a crime spree, robbing $6,000 from a bank at gunpoint and stealing a Pontiac Grand Am. By all accounts, the 19-year-old had gotten away with her crimes after successfully evading the cops and making it back home. Unfortunately, instead of lying low and enjoying her newfound wealth, Hannah decided to pull out her camera and make a YouTube video. What? Then I robbed the bank? In this grainy, glitchy video, Hannah boasts about her crimes in great detail while showing her ill-gotten gains off to the camera. As you can imagine, it didn't take long for the police to see the video, and they arrested Hannah the same day that it was uploaded. With this online confession, the case was open and shut, and Hannah was later sentenced to 10 to 20 years in prison for her crime spree. Bruh. So her life as a teenager and her career as a YouTuber came to an abrupt end. Uploading your own confession onto YouTube is pretty stupid, but it could be worse. Back in 2017, a burglar called Jesse Baruby won up Hannah and established himself as one of the dumbest criminals of all time. After calling 911 on himself. What? In December 2017, Jesse decided to channel his inner Santa Claus as he attempted to burglarize a business in Citrus Heights, California by climbing down their chimney. 
Now, Santa's had a lot of practice climbing down chimneys over the years, but unfortunately, this was Jesse's first time. As he reached the bottom of the chimney, he got stuck. Jesse tried to wiggle his way out of the tight, dark space, but eventually, he accepted his fate, reaching into his pockets and dialing 911 for help. Presumably, the local police spent a good few minutes laughing at Jesse over the phone before heading to the scene and discovering him trapped in the chimney, completely covered in soot. After another bout of laughing, the cops rescued him from the hole, pulling him to safety and charging him with one count of burglary. Jesse might be one of the only criminals to have called the cops on himself. Then he better watch his back in prison. Nobody there likes snitches, not even the ones who snitch on themselves. Okay, so when I was younger, we used to always steal from Kmart. That's the place we all stole from. Now, the reason why we used to steal all the time is because we didn't have no money. And Game Boy, it came out with Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And in order to play just like four hours on the Game Boy, it was like $40 worth of batteries, man. So me, I stole probably around like $800 in batteries, honestly. A lot of money. I was I was really doing it. I'm up at Kmart and I've got a bunch of gum and candy and I've got batteries and I had cut a hole in the side of my jacket. So when I would steal the batteries and the gum, I would shove them into the side of my jacket. I would take all the wrappers and just shove them behind all the other like foods and, and uh, groceries and shit. I was in a different aisle looking for other stuff to steal and an adult walked past me. I think he was a guy who was a secret shopper because he had on sunglasses. He drops all my wrappers in front of me and just keeps walking like he didn't see me. I got scared crapless. I'm like, oh my God, this guy, he obviously is a police officer. They know I'm stealing. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Luckily enough for me, I knew that the, the little metal buzzers wouldn't go off, which was a scary part of stealing is when you walk through the little metal detectors and you think that they're gonna catch you, you think you get caught. I leave out the store, I still got all the candy and stuff in my pockets and whatnot. The metal detector didn't go off. I'm about 20 feet into the parking lot and this 260 something pound white dude shaped like a football linebacker comes charging at me. The only reason why I know he was charging at me is because I heard his footsteps Turned around in time to get tackled. Bro, he tackled me so hard, bro. Knocked all of the wind out of me. So then he drags me back into the store, man. They put me in this interrogation room in the back of Kmart. And they called my mom. When my mom came down there, she brought her belt. And she had the nerve to still have her shower cap on. Because apparently she was in the shower. She had a robe on. And she very embarrassingly beat me the whole way out of the Kmart. And I'm like crying and trying to act tough. Ah, oh, but like she just, yeah, beat me all the way out. That wasn't my last time stealing, but I stopped for a while after that one. You know that you're not required to have a license to drive, right? You are not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You are not the law. You are not the law. Sovereign citizens are people who believe that laws don't have to apply to them. But what happens when they commit crimes? Here are five shocking times yep. when sovereign citizens realize they've been arrested. Oh boy. Starting with PJ Pratt, who on March 26, 2018, was stopped for a possible suspended license. Once the officer approaches the car, we can see how Pratt has started recording the interaction. And instead of answering questions about himself, he starts questioning the officer instead. How's it going, man? Say that again? Because you have a possible suspended license. You have your driver's license on you? You don't have your driver's license on you. Man, I can barely hear you. I do have my badge and ID on me. My name's Officer Stetson, work for Piners Police Department. I don't have a business card on me. Yeah, that's my call. That's my call sign. That's, that's not your name. I need. I need a card. I need a business card. That's who I am, right there. Got it. Right there. Again, that's my call sign. It's a nickname. Miners Police Department. Yes. Do you have your driver's license on you? Okay. What's your name? Sir, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to figure out that. I don't say for You don't know your own name? What's your name? 
As Pratt deviates and refuses to provide his name, instead choosing to argue with the officer, a call is made to the supervisor, seeing as this can easily escalate. He also shows the officer what appears to be a court order regarding his case, where he had previously been in a similar situation and says exactly what you would expect from one of these people. What are you reaching for in your bag? For a possible suspended license, what's your first name? You do know that you're not required to have a license to drive, right? Yes, you are. Okay. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not arguing either. Yes, you are. What's your first name? What's your first name? According to Colander B. Lawson, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm not Shoot him through Sir, the glass. I'm asking you what your name is. Shoot him through What's the your glass. First name? Let me let you know. Before and before I say anything else, I'm going to let you know anything I say now is under threat, duress, and distortion. No, this is an investigation. It's an investigatory traffic stop. What's your driver's name? What's your name? I'm not going to argue with you. Give me your name. All right, if you prolong this anymore, I'm going to... I'm not, I'm not required by law. To... You are required by law in the state of North Carolina. You know the little thing you sign when you get a driver's license? It's called implied consent. You know what that is? I never signed nothing. Because you don't have a license? And then on top of that, sir, you are threatening me right now. How am I threatening you? Because you, 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 first you just said something about if I prolong this skinny. Oh boy. You said oh boy. It's only going to be worse for you. It's, no, actually it's not because I've, I've already had a case like this where I prevailed and just like this, I have it on camera, just like this. Uh huh. So I'm actually trying to help you. Okay. Actually. Where, where was your case tried at? In Cumberland County? And I definitely prevailed. Murdochsville. Definition of ID. Needless to say, that everything this guy is saying is absolutely insane, and he's just trying to evade his responsibilities. The supervisor then arrives on scene, and he is ready to deal with Pratt. He asks the officer who he is, but the supervisor does not beat around the bush, and things begin to get heated. So all I've got so far is P.J. Pratt. Open the door, 1225. Open no door. You got a driver's license? No, I don't. Do you have a driver's license? He's saying he doesn't. Who are you? Do you have a driver's license? Me. Okay, I need, I need your driver's license or your ID card, please. Who are you? Who you'll, are you? you'll get a lot of this from women. Identification, usually. please. I'm not required by law to show you my identification. You're going. Easy way to Hardway. Easy way to Hardway. I'm getting my Pull it out. Easy way to Hardway. The officer seeing Pratt still not comply, he warns him that he has two choices, the easy way or the hard way, where he'd be forced to break the glass. But Pratt then does the unexpected. Go, go. I don't care. What's your, what's his real name? ID, break it out. That's also a threat. Sledge. Give me, give me your license. I saw your license. license. I already saw the driver's license. Give me the license. It's all a paper. Yeah, the paper license. He's about to come out of that car. Yes, he is. You're gonna come out. Hand it in. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Come out. That's the pickup. Out of the car. Again, you're gonna do it the easy way or the hard way. Got it. Hey, grab my shit. As stupid as it gets, Pratt provides the officers with his ID and license, only for the officer to confirm that it was suspended. Pratt then has the officers in a chase for several minutes before he finally decides to stop. And this time, the officers wasted no time in playing nice and immediately get to making the arrest.
After being handcuffed, Pratt is made to sit and wait in the cop car. Surprisingly, his madness continues. Can I speak to somebody? Nope. You're gonna sit there and shut up. All he's gonna do is keep yelling at you about how he's the victim. Reminds me of women. Ah, right, you don't understand. Oh, yeah. I'm the yep. victim. Yep. Probably find meth up in that bitch. Right, so I'm guessing he ran for a reason. Let's find it. Yep. Unless he's just being. A Say what? Man, you ain't you ain't in a position to make any requests right hey, now. Honestly, I am. Dude. How are you? You're in the wrong. I. You can... And you can stand my feet. You shouldn't have ran. I did run. I don't know what you call that, then. <laughs> While the officers search Pratt's car for any weapons or drugs, Pratt asks to speak to the sheriff. And when the officers don't play into his whims, he screams out for help claiming it's police brutality. Okay. Not only that, he claims that he would soon be let free and get paid for the damages being done to him and his car. A quick run of Pratt's license gives officers information about his background, who seems to have several pending cases against him. Pratt's argument? It's not him. I already checked your cuss, man. You're good. Stop swerving. Harold Edward Pratt Jr. That's not you. That's the driver's license you gave me. And that's what's on your military ID. So how's that not you? It is you today. Is it me today? It is you today. Okay. Why did I drop off? Because they tried to break my window. My window for no reason. And I know how y'all get down. Aren't y'all in y'all jurisdiction? Village of Pinehurst. I wasn't in Pinehurst or near the village of Pine. That says village of Pin. Pina Colada. Pina Colada. Pina Colada. You like Pina Colada? It says P I N. You like Pina Coladas? No. I like no? Pina Colada. I like you. Like All right. So he's got four pending charges right now: Dang. stolen goods, resisting public officer. Speeding or the speeding, yeah, speeding still pending, and, and failure to exhibit surrender license. Once again, so you beat that? Oh, why does it still say pending? Nah, sorry, bro. You ain't doing it. I promise you. You ain't been in here that you haven't been in Moore County, have you? <laughs> Then, as cops find drugs in his car, he starts blaming them for planting evidence on him. I didn't find it in the bag? In the bag? I'll put it in the jar. Okay. It's all on video too, man. Despite his cries that he's going to sue the officers and several other delusional claims, Pratt was arrested. What could have been just a traffic ticket is now a felony due to Pratt's actions of running away and avoiding the confrontation. Unfortunately, I currently do not have more information regarding his sentence, but he sure got what he deserved. And if you thought this last cop was too nice and patient with Pratt, well, this next case proves the total opposite. On March 5th, 2023, an Arizona officer stopped a car that had failed number plates on it. Once confronted, the unidentified man not only denied revealing his identification, which in itself is a crime, but also does something you should never do. Hello. Hi, I'm Officer Wilson from Snow Police Department. The reason I stopped you is for it appears you have a fictitious license plate on the back of your vehicle. Do you know anything about that? I'm a sovereign human being. Okay. And I'm an American house. Okay. Do you have your driver's license, insurance, or registration, please? No. What? No. Do you have any form of ID on you? No, Matthew Tucheroni is my name. Okay. All right. So just I've so been you know, pulled over a couple times already by state troopers, sheriffs, and this is recognized. Okay. Okay. I don't agree. So. Okay, well. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that's actually a misdemeanor crime for you to display a fictitious license plate. Additionally, you not providing me with the driver's license is required. 
Under Arizona Revised Statutes 28-1595, that is also a misdemeanor crime. Seeing this, the officer warns him about the repercussions of his actions and that he would be dragged out if he didn't step out of his car. Step out of your car, please. No. I didn't do anything Mayor wrong. Mayor 1, I need another unit. Step it up, please. I did not do anything wrong. Pennsylvania versus Mims is a Supreme Court case law that says you're required to get out of that car if I ask you. If you do not, I'm going to force you to. Okay, get out of your car. Call, my, call my lawyer. You can call your lawyer if you want, but as soon as another officer gets here, I'm going to force you out of that car if you don't get, get out, out of here. Despite having the typical sovereign behavior, on, baby. the man later revealed himself to be Matthew Tutoroni after the officer warned him that refusal to identify oneself would result in a charge. Observing this, we can do nothing but wonder why would they comply with laws they swear don't exist. I don't need to be under arrest. I need to do anything. You're being detained right now. And Pennsylvania versus Mims is a United States Supreme Court case law. You're being detained. Why? Because Why I told you I'm investigating confused? one crime. Okay. You also said you don't have a driver's license, which is another one. And if you don't provide me a form of identification when I'm investigating you for a crime, that is a third crime that I'm investigating you for. There is no crime. You are provide you are required by law to provide me your true full legal name if I'm investigating a crime. Well, this car. If you do not provide me with your true full legal name, you can be arrested Matthew for that. Matthew Tucheroni. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or any other form of identification? I am a sovereign being. My name is Matthew Chicharroni. Okay. Again, Arizona by statutes 28-1595 requires you to show okay. me an ID card or driver's license. Not only is he making the situation worse for himself by saying there's no crime here, but his beliefs have led him to believe he has done nothing wrong when he had in fact committed several crimes. Seeing this, the officer decides he has had enough. If you don't get out of your car, Matthew, look at me. Matthew, look at me. If you don't get out, I'm going to force you out. I'm going to charge you with resisting arrest also. So get out, please. Come on. Get out. There's no reason to act I've asked like this. you probably 10 times to get out. There's no reason to act like this. There's get out of your car then. All right. Just run, no nigga. There's no reason to act like this. There's no reason to get act out. like this. Do not touch me. Get out. Do not touch get me. Get out of your car. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Please. Ugh. Please do not oh, touch me. I've asked you ten times to get oh, out. Get out on your own. What are you doing? Please do not touch me. We're officer Ramirez. Ow! Come on. Get on the ground. No! 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 I didn't do anything, Officer Ramirez! After being arrested, a quick search of his car was done, revealing a gun in the glove box. But Matthew claims that it isn't a weapon since it was never brandished. It's a Ruger inside the car. It's a nice Ruger. I want this to kill the weapon. So the Is that okay if I call you that? 
Okay. I'm gonna read you something, okay? Unfortunately for him, he has then read his Miranda rights and arrested for several felonies he had committed due to his sovereign beliefs. But it isn't always that a suspect puts up a fight, as this next one pretended everything was okay. That is, until he was caught. You have no right to ask me to get out of my vehicle, and I've got nothing wrong okay. over a Obviously, you violation. don't know it. I have the right to travel as it is. Obviously, you don't. License. This driver was stopped by the Minnesota police on December 26, 2022. As soon as the interaction started, the driver initially complied with the officer without so much as another word, but things would soon drastically change. What's that? I pulled over. I said, you pulled over. So. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that, too. I, uh, we prefer as law enforcement not for you to pull over until we signal you with the lights because uh, people pull over in really bad spots sometimes. And, uh, you know, I wasn't getting your license plate back because this is struck a little bit of snow that's stuck oh. to the front of it. So I ran that when I called out the dispatch, the wrong one came back. So uh, that gives me time to, to see if, you know, who I'm stopping or if this vehicle is associated with something Makes not good. Sense. Yeah, so 94 to 94, 23 for the... Give that back. Alright. It's the... Uh, Yes, yes. All right. But despite the person complying, the cop sensed a marijuana odor and proceeded to ask the driver to step out of his vehicle, but it surely wasn't going to be that simple. Can you ever step out for me, please? Because I'm going to search your vehicle. I can smell marijuana coming from it. No, you see these? Yeah. I'm the supervisor. Okay. 303100, give, give me another car, please. Right. Yeah, I don't need you to get set. Get set. I'm not going to ask you again. Okay, I'm not going to ask you again. Okay. Excuse me? Do you even know what you're talking about? No, you don't. Just step out of the vehicle for me, please. I refuse to okay. step out. Because you know why, sir? You have no right to take me out of my vehicle I get for a traffic stop. The driver refuses to step out of his vehicle, claiming to know his constitutional rights, and as we've seen before, starts to record the interaction as if the cops were doing something illegal. You do not have probable cause. I can smell vehicle. marijuana in your vehicle, and, and that is probable that. cause to search your vehicle. Marijuana, sir. Okay. That's how you guys come into cars for unlawful searches okay. and seizures, sir. Right. Well, and persons of seizure. I consent to no purchase or personal searches whatsoever. Well, I'm not asking for your consent. You have to have no, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do not. You do have to have my consent. Okay. No, I don't. I'm not going to argue with you about it, okay? You sir. You have to have my consent to search my vehicle. Okay. Okay? You have to. Seeing no cooperation, the officer still does not want to escalate the situation and has called for backup as he waits. To make matters worse, the driver even thinks he would be paid a million dollars if he files a claim against the officer. Then, after other officers arrive, the driver still sticks to his baseless claims, which would soon lead him into a really bad situation. Listen to me, please, okay? I'm gonna ask you one more time to step out of your vehicle, okay? If you don't step out, we're gonna remove you from your vehicle. Do you understand that? From my vehicle, you're gonna lose your qualified immunity and I will see you guys. Do you understand that? You understand me? Are you going to get out no. and, be, and cooperate or not? Can you turn your truck off for me, please? No, sir, I'm not Will you turn your truck off, please? Sir. Okay, this is my property. Can you turn your truck you off, please? You have no right to search me, sir. You have no right to search Can me. Can you turn your truck off, please? You have no right to search me. Okay, step out of the vehicle, please. Me. No, sir. You have no right to search me. If you don't step out, you're going to get maced, okay? Hey, sir, you know what? If you mace me, what? I am not... I am not giving you guys any trouble whatsoever. Look out, Mike. Look out, Mike. Hey, I'm not giving you guys any trouble whatsoever. The man claims to not be causing any trouble, but his refusal is already doing the opposite. Despite all that, the man is still unwilling to go down quietly as he screams police brutality while being handcuffed. What the f man? This is a violation, dude. Get out of the Look car. at this. Dude, Get out of are the you car. a supervisor? Really? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! 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 Oh!
Bate pro leite dele! Ah! 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 Ô, Abé! Pega! Ah! 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 Pipo! To the surprise of no one, a search of his vehicle revealed that he had been carrying several packets of weed. Unfortunately for him, he was arrested and charged with possession of drugs, but sovereign citizens who believe they are above the law and get what they deserve don't stop here. On July 4th, 2023, this sovereign citizen was pulled over by a Georgia police officer. His reaction? He starts questioning and recording the officer as if he was the cop in this situation. No, no, no. Okay, so, officer, what's your name and badge number, please? Say it's Foley. I can't see it because your walkie-talkie's in the way. Foley. Uh, what's your first name and last name? I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to tell you that. This is going to result in a complaint. Um, Go right ahead, brother. So, I'm asking what I need for to... your driver's license and proof of insurance. Could I have your card, please? Could I have your employee card? No, you may not. I need your Why not? driver's license and proof of insurance. Okay, if I can't have your, um, if I can't have that, could I, uh, could you get in contact with your supervisor, Listen, please? Seeing no cooperation, the officer has alerted for backup as he tries to keep the suspect from driving off. Meanwhile, the man tries to pointlessly reason with the police that he hasn't done anything wrong, but we all know how that plays out. This is a private automobile, sir. This is why I don't have tags or registration. In fact, I've already gone through this and had my actual plate stolen by an officer. So I'm already dealing with a situation like this and I would like to preserve your employment I'm trying to allow you to do the right thing here. I'm trying to help you. I'm, I'm tr it doesn't, but you're detaining me right now. Once backup officers arrive on the scene, the situation takes a turn for the worse, as these no-nonsense officers warn the man that they would be smashing his window and dragging him out if he didn't comply. Although, 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 I know for a fact. Stop talking, I need it now. One moment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up this law. Because we're going to be patient. We're going to be all right, patient. All right, we're done. Go ahead and step out. Go ahead and step Sir. out. I'm going to smash this windshield. Sir, please don't I'm smash my window. You're breaking the law. Do not do, not do that. Listen to me. One moment. Exit the vehicle Sir, excuse right me. Now, could you, could you call your supervisor, please? Out. Could you call and your supervisor, please? We're past that. I have no contract with you. It. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. We're not past anything because I haven't committed a crime. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Saying that the cops are trying to ruin his life is crazy. Had the man provided his identification and complied with the officer, he could have gotten away with just a ticket for no registration. But these people always choose to do the stupidest thing, in this case, telling cops that they are not the law. Do not damage my property. Do not damage my property. Unlock your truck and step You are not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You are not the law. You are not the law. You are breaking the law. You are breaking the law. Call your supervisor, please. No, I don't have to. Sir, please call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I do not have to do that. I'm going to record this live on YouTube right now. What the f? Show me your f***ing hand. What the f***ing hand? Show me your f***ing hand. Show me your f***ing hand. Show me your f***ing hand. Show me Show me your f***ing hand. 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 Show me your what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop You're breaking the law. Stop. You're breaking the law. Stop. You're breaking the law. Get out. I have a gun right here. Stop. 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 Please. What are you doing? Right now, you're going to get tased. Hands up. Hands up. I'm out. Hands up. 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 The man was then handcuffed at the back of the police car while the officers searched the vehicle to find a not so shocking discovery. Hey, there may, there may be another 1032 because there's another, another holster in here. Do you have any blood on you? I have some on my hand. He cut his face. No one? You say they don't teach you this in the academy. Um, he has a bunch of swords back here. Well, one looks wooden, the other may also be. 
Yeah, they might. Yeah, they're foam. I'm crazy. Driving around with weapons in a car that had no registration plate is certainly what a sovereign citizen would do. The charges this man faced are unknown, as he was the one who posted this video without further explanation. And a more shocking discovery I made is that this guy goes around breaking laws and acting this way just to record the interactions and upload them to the internet. So basically, he pretends to be a sovereign citizen and waste people's time just as a hobby. But more windows being broken due to stupid behavior doesn't end here. Calvin Jones, in April 2016, was traveling with his wife and younger brother in the districts of Downriver, Michigan. Taylor officers stopped Calvin's car, and one of them proceeded to ask Calvin for his identification. And here, he realized who he was dealing with. How you doing, sir? How you doing, man? Hey, have your driver's license vehicle for you, Johnny? Uh, what, what, what's going on? Uh, I'd be happy to tell you once I see who I'm talking to, all right? Uh... I need, I need you to let me know, like, what's going on, like, what, 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 I, what, what happened? What, what, uh, I'd be, like I said, I'd be happy to tell you once I, I see information. I'm not giving you my information until you tell me what you pulled me over for. All right, sir. Failure to give me my information is an arrestable offense, okay? So you can either do this the easy way or this the hard way, all right? I need to know what you're pulling me over for. I'm going to tell you once I see your information, all right? I'm going to I got information, but I'm not giving you my information. Until you tell me what you put. All right, here's, here's, here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Put, put, put this on camera, man, because we're not dealing with this. Give me your ID. Give me your ID. I need to know right. why you putting me over. Give him your ID. Detail 5 radio. I'll be on a stop, entrance to the parks. Please send me another car. I have a cooperative occupant. Last chance. Where's he even? From the entrance to the park. From the park. For? Is my tags expired? Is my lights out? I'd be happy to tell you, sir. Calvin's wife can be heard in the background telling him to comply and provide the officer with his ID. It's procedure for cops to ask for ID after making a stop. That way, if a person escalates the stop after they've heard the bad news by taking off or using violence, the police know who they need to get. Calvin then is seen showing clear signs of guilt as he tries to find a way to get out of this situation by pretending to know his rights. All right, you should tell me what's going on, man. Oh. Are you a lawyer, sir? Hey, I'm representing myself right now. Okay. Because well, to be honest with you, I have a right. I have a right to remain silent, right? So I could just sit here and ignore you. Um, no, you can't, sir. I don't answer any questions. Okay. Well, it's going to turn out very poorly for you. It's fine, but you're not telling me what's going on, and that ain't right. I'm going I'm to tell you what the deal is. You're probably suspended, so you don't, so don't want to give me your license. You don't, I don't have to give you my information. Okay. You're tell me what's going on. <laughs> That ain't right, because I just renewed my tags in October 2015. Okay. So my tags is good. So, am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. This is an investigatory stop, all right? And after more nonsense discussion, things turned south. I don't know about you, but if I see a cop putting on gloves, something is about to go down. All right, here's the deal. For all I know, you could be trying to kill me right now. You're absolutely ridiculous, all right? I don't care. All right, because step out of the it's car. Been, it's been too many. I'm not stepping out the car until so you tell me what's going on. All right, open the door. Hey, put this on camera. Put this on camera. You got to let me know what's going on, man. You're not going to jail. You're going to jail is what's going on. For what? For what? You ain't, what charges? On what charges? <laughs> wow. <laughs> After a long struggle, Calvin was hey. finally put in handcuffs and arrested. 
Then the same situation goes for his wife. Put your hands on the car. No, sir. Put your hands on the car. Don't touch my phone. Get it out of your hand. Put your hands on the car. Grab my phone! Police brutality. Police brutality. Police brutality. I ain't even doing that. You listen to what we're saying? Oh, you're going to jail, too. Real simple. I don't want to see him. Don't matter. Alright, then what's up? Alright. I'm going to roll you over, right? Listen. Roll you over. Get your knees, stand up. Get your knees up. Ready, I'm going to up. One, two, three, get up. Come on, right back here. Despite the woman calling this police brutality, it is uncertain if that's how this ordeal can be tagged. Calvin was lawfully stopped for running a stop sign and he refused to provide his ID, though the officer doing the stop didn't tell him why he was being pulled over, as it is the norm. As of now, after a thorough investigation, the charges against him have been dropped. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye. That is horrifying. Most thieves believe they can steal and get away with it, but what happens when things don't go as planned? Here are six different cases when dumb thieves realize they've been caught. Get out of my brother's house before I call him up, you lawyer! Starting with the case of a woman named Taisha and her brother Mario, who in January 2023 were arrested after police arrived at Mario's house over a stolen backpack. Unfortunately for them, the backpack had an Apple AirTag inside. Matthew? Yes, sir. Officer Austin, what's going on? Uh, my bag got stolen today. Um, I wouldn't really care for it, except for like, there's military documents in there that I need. Uh -huh. So, uh, they got pinged at this house right here. I knocked on both the doors and they said they don't want anything of it. Those at this house right here, I mean, it's kind of bugged around, but your her and I drove here and it's been... I don't know, I mean, I looked in the grass, maybe somebody threw out the window, but I can't find anything. And I tried to ping it and play a sound, and I can't, it's not in the grass, I can't ping it. The owner of the backpack, Matthew, explains how he had traced his stolen backpack to the specific residence, but no one answered. The officers then immediately proceeded to confront one of the residents. What unfolded next is absolutely incredible. Mario? Okay. So, you got the backpack here? Or... I actually don't. I have neighbors and uh, he told me that he talked to them. Okay, these neighbors over here? Yeah. Or these ones, I don't know, he just, he came to this all the time. Oh yeah, the, the air tag is, is going right here. What, okay. at this address it can be? Uh -huh. Oh boy! That's my bad, you know, I was, was cleaning my car out, but I was looking Okay. Like I said, I don't know why I would be popping up here. Like I, like I said, the neighbors, any, anybody else in this area, the only one here I know what is in this house and it's definitely no backpack in here. Alright, just uh, I might come back to chat with you, just hang tight. Mario denies seeing the bag, but instead points a guilty finger at his neighbors. The police do. then decided to search the property and yep. soon found something that only made matters worse for him. These guys are full of purses and brown Dirty. wallets. Oh! They brown! There's credit cards here too. They flew flaming! They still have identities. Yeah. Mario had all the chance to end the encounter in something less serious, but he decided to make the worst choice and lie every time. Soon after, Mario's sister, Taisha, pulled over and wasted no time confronting the police. And here's when things turned south. What's going on? What's going on? I just want to know what's going on because I drove by and I seen y'all searching through my brother's trash can, so I'm just wondering what's going on. Well, someone's got to let me know what's going on. Here? I come here often and I drove by and see you guys searching my brother's garbage can. Okay, so I'm just wondering there. what's going on. Okay, and there's well, cars out you here. Don't, you don't live here, you don't need to know right now. Actually, I do. Mario, what's going on? I actually been asking y'all to talk okay. since I pulled up here. So, well, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. So, he had a bag stolen from his car last night. It had an air tag in it. Air tag places it somewhere between these two houses. So, you know who lives in the other houses? talking with them right now. We're gonna go next door, but the air tag shows okay, it right here. Okay, that's fine, but don't go searching through my brother's garbage can for Y'all don't property. have the right to do that. That's and y'all know property. better than that, y'all are police officers. We don't do to... no 
have the authority to do it. In this case, Taisha is wrong, as the officers have the right to search the property because they believe the suspects to be disposing of stolen objects. But while she argued with the officer, another officer smelled marijuana coming from Mario's house and decided to search the apartment. Hey, Taisha. That's all hey, I have Tisha. now. Police department, make yourself known if you're in here, do it now. Hey, they said they smelled Y'all don't smell no weed, so y'all can Stay get out. Stay out here. Stay out. I don't smell weed. My brother don't smoke weed. Stay so out. did y'all check the neighbor's house if y'all smell Stay weed? Out. No, sir. Y'all don't have the right to do that. There is no scent of weed in this house. Do y'all want to come and smell? Do y'all want to come and smell? We're recording right now. Does someone else want to come and smell? My brother don't smoke weed, so it don't smell like weed in here. Stay out. Get out updated, of my brother's house! I've dated 99% black so women. Don't grab Put your hands behind your back. I don't fall for none of this shit. No. At a certain level of disrespect, you just gotta you beat her. Smell Mario Paul. You gotta hit the hole. You don't smell like Peter. And we gotta be like, hey, no, oh, snap, look, it's Justin Bieber. Bitch. Bitch. That's the Bitch. Bitch. They just put him in place and go search Bitch. Like, you know what I mean? They don't, y'all don't have the right to search the house. Have a seat. I will. All the whole time. Y'all don't gotta grab me up like that. Just, just feet and hands all up in her, all upside her head. All inside of her ass. Y'all do not have the right to the house without a search warrant. Oh, the humanity. We are not all open. day, all night. Well, you guys will just what? be in there without what? his permission what? after we told you not to be in there. Stop breaking up. Didn't you tell me what I told you was going to do? And what happened when I told you was going to happen? Exactly what I told you was going to happen. Uh huh. That's what I told you was going to happen. And that's exactly what happened, huh? Check the bathroom right Black women, my nigga. I love love them. I don't like it when they do that. Right now we're waiting on another officer because things are kicking off way too much, man. Seeing all that is unfolding, Mario eventually accepts that they can search the bathroom for the air tag if they like, but then they need to come right back out. The woman, however, continued screaming that officers had no right to enter the home, at which point one of the officers decided to do what they should have done in the beginning. Mario, we Hit the bitch. gotta say nothing. Yeah, as bitch. long as you know, step out of Mario, tell me step out of your house. Put your right house. in the Go face. Look at, uh, watch Go look at my Mario, house. they don't have the right. Can you put her in your Mario, yep. Mario, because you see they try to take me to jail because they, me. they're Mario, they can't get into your house. The only reason they're in there is because you told them to go in the bathroom. They're taking you to jail because they have the right to take you to jail. Stop resisting! Stop! 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 I'm just yelling, dude. I'm just yelling. I'm just up here. If you're going to interfere with an investigation, you are going to identify yourself. I'm not That's the thing. I'm just recording. Yes, you I'm recording. You're going to ability to conduct this no, investigation. No, he, he has mental problems. I'm trying to let y'all know. Now is the time where you're under arrest. You're going to get searched. That's fine, but under Stay. arrest for Stop one. moving. Two, one, two, three. What if I under arrest Stop for? moving. Are you going to tell me? is resisting. That's what you're under arrest for. I'm not, for. because I'm not moving. I'm just talking. So I'm just asking you. What I'm going to ask you to come over to the what car. What am I being arrested for? Why am I in handcuffs? Is anybody else going to tell me that? As Taisha was being detained, the police found the stolen backpack in Mario's bathroom. Gotcha, Not only bitch. that, but Taisha's partner makes up some lie about Mario being mentally challenged, thinking it will get him out of trouble. Later, an officer walked up to Mario and explained the situation to him. Let me explain to you what's going on, okay? I don't know a lot going on. Unless you've already explained. I was just doing that, finishing it off. Build up here, okay? The air tag is popping in, all right? Open the door, it smells like weed. Okay, that gives me the right by law, secure the residence for the application of a search warrant, which I will be doing. Okay, that means I can go inside, secure you and any persons that would be in there. The residence is secure, okay? In that cursory uh, protective suite, we located our backpack bed. You said it wasn't there, okay? Obviously, that's an issue we will address when we get to it, okay? Obviously, you've probably been doing some things that you're not supposed to be doing, okay? Part of how we can approach this type of issue now is I can absolutely continue 
proceed and apply for that search warrant. And if the judge approves it, I'm going to search this residence. The alternative to that is, with your consent, I can also search this residence. Obviously, we know we're going to find a backpack. That's mainly what we're here for, and probably could have avoided it if you would have just turned that over to the with. Um, but now we've gone obviously a little bit too far. Eventually, as he refused to consent to search his house, Mario was placed under arrest for theft. Mario was finally charged with a felony for receiving stolen property, less than or equal $10,000 and possession of drugs. His sister was charged with battery threat to a law enforcement officer and obstructing arrest with a $5,000 bond. But if you thought criminals couldn't be any dumber and entitled, well, that's because you don't know the case of this man. Listen, get your hands out of your pocket. Officer, listen, officer. This case is about an unknown middle-aged man who on May 28, 2020, tried to walk out of a self-checkout lane in a Walmart store without paying. When officers arrived, it didn't take long for the man to show how stupid he was. Well, he's not going through, so you gotta wait right there. Yeah, I've, I've done this one. Drink with me. You walked here, that. right? Yeah. I just said that. Okay. It's not you walked here, right? We already discussed it. I don't need hey, you to smart. Hey, I'm stealing from you. She's trying to help me. That's don't what give me lip back, back here, bitch. Here, right? I don't work in this store. Huh? I'm going to stab I didn't know that you walked through. I'm already stealing. What is your name? So you cannot you talk to thing. me like you this. Said, okay, I am a respectable so, so, so thief. Listen, you, you gotta walk this way. You gotta walk Damn this it. way, okay? Uh, I, I need you to walk this way. You check my authority, huh? Okay, you, you passed the point of sale station. I didn't press put anything. I thought it went through. It did not. So I'm trying to bring it back up on my phone. She just was trying to help me. That's what okay, we're, 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 we're going to walk this way. We're going to step out of line. I'm still buying my stuff. Okay, you, you're not buying your stuff anymore. I'm buying my stuff. You okay. want to stop me from buying my stuff? Okay, now I am going to stop you. You want to stop me from buying my stuff? That I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to. Okay. Why? Because I have the why? I have the legal right to. Why? Okay, I have. Why are you going to stop me? From my first of all, you're within six feet of my space. I'm trying to figure out why. I'm trying to figure out why you're stopping me from buying my stuff. I got a unit to uh, Walmart. I don't care what you call a unit. I'm trying to buy my stuff. My app didn't work. I'm trying to correct that. Okay. Now you're telling me I can't correct it. The man claims to have initially sent the money and didn't know that the transaction was not successful. But the question remains: Why did he try to leave if he had not confirmed his transaction? Seeing his behavior, the officer immediately calls for backup. Can I get a unit to Walmart, please? I'm gonna buy my stuff. What are you talking about? Excuse you. Have a sick day. Okay. Okay. So if I'm so you, you can so leave. Li li listen. Right. Listen. Right. Thank you. If you want to, that's gonna be the way it's gonna go. I don't care how. Well, I'm trying to buy my okay. You think I'm supposed to be scared of you because you're a cop? No. Nope. You're not supposed to be scared of me because you're a cop. Why not listen to you? You're a cop. What are you gonna do? Kill that, me? Actually, you no. Know, put your not. hands on me at Walmart? I look like okay. I care. First of all, you're within six feet of my space. Coronavirus, get the f out of my face. No. How about that? No. Get the f out of my no. face. I don't need your pepper spray. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm about to because you're pepper spray because you're in my you're in my no, space. No. You're in my face. No, no. You're in my space. No. Back the f up. You'll agree Jesus. with me that being belligerent for no reason when he clearly didn't have a receipt to show he paid is ridiculous. The duo continued to go back and forth, at which point the man eventually realized the kind of trouble he was in. But instead of cooperating with the police officer, he decided to do something really stupid. Officer, I'm about to spray you. I'm about to spray you. I, I, I will spray you. No, you're not. No, now you're being detained. Detained for what? Okay. Detained for what? Because I have to identify you. And you identify me for what? I have one more pay. It did not work. I made a mistake and went right back to the register. Okay. While well, no, she raised didn't. her voice at me, no. I asked your girl to help me. Come on. No. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Listen, What's going get on your hands you? out of your pocket. Officer, stop. Listen. Officer. There you go. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. What's wrong with you? Stop. I'm not doing nothing. What's wrong with you? Why are y'all doing this? Stop. Why are y'all doing this? Yo, he's not this is obvious racism. Why are you doing this? Oh, I'm fine. Put this stuff out. Yeah, they got me like wait, this wait, a couple squeeze times. Out, squeeze out, squeeze yeah. out. Wait a second, my impact. After being arrested, like the man was later like charged with me. assault on a police officer, interfering with a police officer, and fifth degree larceny. However, this man wasn't the only one who tried to run from the police. I tried to run like twice at a Walmart, man. It didn't go good. One time, 260 pound Caucasian white boy linebacker tackled the shit out of me, face first in the snow. I made it all the way to the parking lot too. 
<laughs> Thought I was home free. As you will soon see in our next case. This is a man from New Mexico who, along with his partner, on the evening of September 25th, 2022, were seen filling two duffel bags with various items, leading Walmart loss prevention to alert the police of their suspicious activity. An officer named Brown arrived at the scene and positioned himself outside the general merchandise doors while loss prevention watched the men. He's got more than one blue bag. Okay. Which one? All right. Got him. We got him. Got him. We got his ass. Beat it ass. And sadly for our ass. dumb thief, when he Beat was about to ass. leave, he was confronted by Officer Brown. How's it going? We can go in here and talk. We're gonna walk in there. Stop. Do it. You cannot outrun a police officer, bro. You cannot outrun a police officer, bro. You can't out duck a police officer. Stop fighting. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Imagine the shock the guy with the bags must have gotten when he realized that he had not only been caught, but the cops had also been called on him. This, coupled with the fact that he was guilty, must have troubled him so much that he stupidly tried to escape. A few minutes later, another officer arrived at the scene and found him outside the store. Run, dummy! After chasing and tasing the man, he was finally caught and subsequently put in handcuffs. His partner, however, continued to act suspiciously. Let me get a couple things, I'll be back to interview you, sir. Man, you said you were walking your friends. Take off. I know, her, my girlfriend's Take off. Man. You've been following back and forth with this guy. Go. Boy, I know you're with him. Keys. Leave. Okay, I pay for my I got money in my pocket. Leave. All right. You can walk around yeah, yeah, and it's away. Touch me too. Run with you. Her, my girlfriend to get his car keys. This, he was with him. Oh, what? You need to walk away from me, man. You need to go. You staying right with me everywhere I go. For some reason, the man continued to follow the officer, using calling his girlfriend as an excuse to stick around. It brings to mind what else he could be planning. 
But the officers weren't going to take any chances as they decided to do what they should have done in the beginning. You want him in the store? No, he's trespassing. Okay. Just, just, just come outside. Stop, we're gonna gonna Why? Because we're done with you. Hey, look. Hey, look. I'll resist, man. Look. Come on the ground. Go side low. They got me right here in the front. They're handcuffing me, too. Stop. Get on the ground. They're right here. Just come. We're going to grab this car. I'm running outside. Okay, we're running outside because they're handcuffing me for no reason because I want to go get you. Oh my God. After they were arrested, the police officers searched their bags, and what they found only made matters worse for the duo. He's got five pills. Oh, yeah, Metro's good. Rocks. And um, several. Bits of powder. We're waiting to get the final oh! See if it's felony or not. Also, powder. Okay. Uh, Seven fifty-two oh seven was the total before taxes. Seven fifty-two oh seven. Still felony. They were eventually transported to the station. Yeah, someone who's been arrested for <laughs> flu flaming. Anything over five hundred dollars is grand larceny. I think. And were both charged with shoplifting and conspiracy to commit shoplifting, while the actual thief was charged additionally for the misconduct of resisting, evading an officer, possession of controlled substances, and trafficking controlled substances. Unfortunately, these charges were dismissed by the New Mexico District Attorney. It's unsurprising to see why people steal so much today, but what do you think? And so far, these dumb thieves have tried to outrun the cops when they were caught. But this isn't always the case, as it is with this man who thinks he's above the law. This unidentified man on April 16, 2023, was found stealing a catalytic converter from underneath the vehicle of another person in Linwood, Washington, after the authorities received a call reporting his suspicious activities. The following footage is one of the most shocking you'll see regarding these types of situations. Yeah, it's going to be towed. What? It's going to be towed. Okay, are you a property manager here? No, no, no. Who, okay, who, is this your car? Yeah, it's going to be towed. Okay, is this your car? That's uh, somebody who I know. It's going to be towed. Okay. Can you, can you, can you come out? Can you, can you come out and talk to me? <clears throat> I'll let you know you're being, you're being audio and video recorded, okay? Okay, yeah, what, what's up? Because somebody who knows the owner of the truck says... It's going to be towed. Oh. Okay, do you, have I, do you have ID? No, not on me. Okay. So, who, who owns the truck? On the phone with the said, on. I just, uh, cash, cash on it. I was trying to get something that I'm missing. From my truck. Who, whose truck is it? Uh, I don't know the name. Okay, I thought you said you knew the owner of the truck. Somebody told me that's gonna be towed, but take forever. Yeah. So, what are you taking off of it? I was trying to give the somebody stole my my catalytic. So you're taking. I was the, trying to you, just the tube. The, so you're taking the catalytic converter. Oh, they, they have no catalytic. Uh, yeah. At least a uh, pipe. At first, the man claims the truck belongs to his friend, but later claimed he was taking parts for his own vehicle since the truck was going to be towed. You'll agree with me that even if this was the case, it's illegal to tamper with someone else's property, let alone dismantle it without their permission. Upon realizing that he had been caught, he retrieved his tools and tried to leave the scene as if nothing happened. The police officer, however, wasn't going to allow this. No, don't, hey, oh, leave that, leave, put it down. Why am I putting it down? Wait, it's your hand. Step it. Under arrest? Put your hands behind your back right now. I'm just picking up my stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Oh, don't, I got you. I got don't, you. Even, don't even do it. I got you. I got it. I got it. I got okay. It. We're going to stay right here. If you try to move, you go into the ground. You understand? Jeez. I got a I'm taser and I will use it. You understand God what I'm saying? It. Don't make me taser I understand you. What you okay. Relax. Don't, don't move. You know the Russians are coming for you? The Russians they, are coming for me? They're coming for you, my friend. Funnily enough, at some point during the arrest, the man starts to threaten the police 
Saying that the Russians are coming for the officer, the police officer, however, paid no attention to him and did not stop from doing his job. The man was eventually put in cuffs and taken to the police cruiser. However, it didn't take long before things began to escalate. I have my... Don't reach for anything. No, I have my ID right here. Oh, you said you didn't have ID. Oh, <coughs> damn. Yeah, over here. Okay, so I'm right there. Yeah, hold up. Okay. Stop moving. Oh. Really? Hey, stop. 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 I'm not freaking fighting okay. you, stupid. Okay, you're stupid. under arrest. Shit. You're you under know, arrest. Stop. The Russians are going to come up against you very soon. Very soon. Your freaking door is going to collapse. And then they, and then they have nations all over the world. All dictators. And they got militias also. Let me see. Very soon, America will be burned. According to the Bible. In Babylonia. It's a Holy nation. It's a bitch. You know, the USA is a bitch. No, you don't have to be here. No, I'm, I'm here because I'm trying to tell. God told me to tell you. To tell, tell these stupid people that the Russians and the Chinese, you don't even know how this world works. You know the Jewish? Russian Orthodox? Yeah, that makes sense. Jewish? Yeah, better listen to him. I think he's a little brother to China. They're going to live in the face. They want to take on the West. The West is not run by America. It's run by the Jews. Okay, that's just coming back. Okay? Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So what, 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 why are you arresting me? Uh, I, was, I was trying to get something that I need for my car. Okay. I'm not a criminal, my friend. Check my, my record. After an inspection of the vehicle, coupled with investigations and a report from a witness, it was discovered that he was not only after the converter. Yep. Yeah, so he's actually taking parts of the truck off. Damn! So probably get the truck for yeah, a warrant. The yeah. panel, so he's... Do the VIN match on this? VIN match on this. Okay. Yeah. And then this is his friend's truck in the end. That's the part. So he's like, yeah, he's sort of taking all this stuff out. So was it from this truck? Yeah, yesterday. This guy, uh, his tire wasn't fly yesterday, so I think it was drivable and had everything on well it. Obviously, he stole everything from more today. When so what was, what was the report yesterday? What did he, what did he steal? Um, oh, like trying to. It. He stole this part, like this side of the panel. Yeah. And uh, what else was it? It was like various random stuff. Huh. I'd have to look back at the report, what he said exactly. Yeah. But he definitely got more today because this whole thing was not gone yesterday. Somehow, the man had been stripping the vehicle little by little since the previous day. The officers later finished up with their investigation and transported the man to jail. His charges, unfortunately, are unknown, but he surely got what he deserved. And talking about despicable people getting what they deserve. Hey. Hey. This is Miss Heaven, who on February 8th, 2021 was caught stealing liquor and other items from a Costco store in Atlanta, oh. Georgia. When Brookhaven police responded to the store, they immediately confronted the woman. Ma'am, this is uh, Miss Heaven from the Greater Power. Uh, this is my manager, Sean, my manager, Dee. She uh, left the warehouse with these items. I didn't leave the warehouse. Can you let them finish first and then I'm gonna ask you? I caught her right at the door there. Okay. With these items, this is in her hand and these two in her bag. Okay. She has several other items in the bag that she concealed that she has not paid for. Okay. And you can put those on the table. Twenty eleven, twenty one. Huh? We definitely gonna press charge. Okay. What's your name? Heaven. You'll press charges for what? Heaven. Hey, hey, hey! I bet you five bucks. 
She swears to God she's a 10. Any bitch that named herself heaven. I'm heaven. I'm heaven. She got weave on and everything. I'm heaven. You have to treat me like a 10. Huh? No Cheesecake Factory for this week. Well, that's what he's going to look at the video. I wasn't here. Okay. They have it on video. Um, I got to go. They called 911. I'm going to do a service. Um, but you don't have your ID on you. It's in the car. Okay. Do you purchase wine without an ID? I came in with wine. Heaven claims that they had no right to accuse her of shoplifting since she had not left the store. But when police asked for her ID, Heaven could not provide it. For those who don't know, in Georgia, you have to present a valid ID before you can purchase liquor. This alone was enough to make anyone realize that Heaven was indeed planning on stealing those items. But that's not all. So, is that their stuff too? No, this is mine. I came in. You came in with these yes. items? Okay. I've been in the store before. I came back in the store. I asked the girl at the front. Okay. So you came to return those? The items back. Okay. When did you purchase them? Last week. Last week? Okay. You got a membership so they can pull that up? Saying that you purchased it last week? Okay. okay. Oh, well, some people don't. They get a little temporary. I know. I go to same. Well, yeah, so. I do have a little temporary. Okay. Thing, okay. But, yeah. But I use someone else's. What I do. Someone else's membership. Okay. So you don't have a membership. Not my personal. Okay. That's <coughs> okay. Yeah. I should have told you that. But you use somebody else's that they can pull up there to see if those items are on there. Heaven explains how she had used someone else's membership to purchase the items and had brought them back to return them. At this point, Heaven's story was beginning to have several loopholes in it, but even after being found, Heaven still refused to cooperate with the officer. Her name is Heaven. Spell that for me. H-E-A-V. Heaven. Okay. Heaven. And your last name? Oh, I'm here to do an investigation. You gotta give me your last name. What's your last name? Investigation on the Shoplifting. Shoplifting. Okay, and I'm doing the investigation. Okay. They're pulling the camera, so that's why I'm here. Okay. What What's your birthday? birthday? Well, when they finish pulling the camera, then. What is your birthday? Can I give you that? What's your birthday? Once they finish, can I give you that? No, because right now you're obstructing me from doing my job. What is your birthday? I'm Because I'm asking you for important information, and I need your birthday. I'm not trying to make this as simple. Okay. It's simple I know. as. What question, they officer? Wilcox, Ashley. Okay. I got a business card I can give you. What's your okay. birthday? Okay, once we uh, pull that and. and so you're refusing to give me your I'm not refusing it. Okay, it what is your birthday? When he come back and say that, well, I wasn't in the camera. Would it be okay? Mm -hmm. I have brother of all that stuff. She what is the police officer? I, that really is. I know all is, the ir is irrelevant. What's it's, your birthday? What? I just asked. It's, it's coming up. It's, it's coming the same up. way, bruh. <coughs> Black okay. women are just Black as difficult when you're trying to get your okay. fingers in their butts. Oh, what's the membership? Just as difficult. Who's, who's membership did you use? Catherine Smith. But there's it's still, you know what I mean? It's still Unfortunately worth, for Heaven, it. who was trying to talk Very her way worth. out of the situation, the manager eventually returned and explained what their camera had caught, and that was when Heaven was exposed. See, she got back in that damn dairy and started loading that bag. I couldn't see back in the deli, but I got to get in that wine. I got to get in that book. I know, so I want you to put them clothes in her bag. Yeah, she go, see right here? She go through the register without paying? Right there? Went right through the register without paying? See? Mm -hmm. The register, and you're going to see her here. Go, she's gonna go to the front end. Stop. She's gonna stop right here. Like she's asking a question. See her back there? Mm hmm. See? Right through the race without paying. But she's gonna stop, turn around, adjust the bag. That's me going out right here in front of her. So I can get her stopped. See, she asked a question. She asked a question. She stopped. She goes to the door. I'm gonna slow it down for you. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna bring this up big for you, okay? Okay. There she go. Straight outside. I stopped her right there. Identified myself. I told her she may have had some items she didn't purchase. Like the book. And what she said? 
She said, I'm from a greater power. Notice that contrary oh! to her claims earlier, Heaven not only acted suspiciously by concealing the items that she had taken in her bag, but she clearly walked outside the store without checking out before the representative stopped her, showing that she had, in fact, stolen the items. Then, after reviewing the videos from the camera, the officers returned to the office to confront Heaven. Heaven? Okay, well, I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Okay, hold. Sorry, you may place on the wrist for shot list. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna do it. Put your hands. Put your hands together like you're praying. Heaven was finally arrested and charged with theft and obstruction, after which she was transported to DeKalb County Jail. But if you thought dumb thieves being exposed ends here, well, you're a bit too optimistic. There's a girl here and she, she gave me her debit card and told me her pin number. What? Her pin number. This is Joshua and Ashley, who on the 10th of March, 2022, were caught with a stolen debit card in Atlanta, Georgia, following a report made by their victim regarding their financial crimes. When officers arrived, they wasted no time carrying out an investigation. She don't know where she lost her card at. She don't know. I didn't even know I lost my card. That's the thing. I didn't know. I didn't even have it. Where's she going? All right, close. Yeah, I didn't have my card. So who had your card? I thought I had my card. Who was just on the camera using it? Until today, my bank called me and told me that it was transactions that was fraudulent. And I said, what? I looked at my bank account and seen the five transactions, and I, that's what told me, wow, I don't have my card. I thought I had it the whole entire time. I didn't know I didn't have it. I didn't know it was taken. I never knew it was stolen. I, so I have no idea who took it, when it was taken, how it was taken. The victim whose card had been stolen only became aware after receiving calls from her bank reporting fraudulent activities going on with her debit card and considering the fact that she had several altercations with her boyfriend the previous day, he was her first suspect. However, that was not all the suspect had done. This is the only place that they use the card. That is in record and then she told me that there was um, an online transaction that he tried to make to boost mobile to pay $308 on an uh, account, but it's Damn, not a checking bitch. account, it's a savings, so he couldn't do it. Did, did your boyfriend know your um, passcode? Because yeah. he only, you could tell that he didn't really play with those numbers like that. He's not, until he figured it out. You only see him touch the keypad three times. Yeah, he do know it. Are y'all fighting? What? Yeah, I'm, we had an altercation yesterday where I called the police like five times yesterday on him because he had took my car and wasn't trying to give me my car back. Then when I when I found my car, I had an Uber to my car yesterday, found it, and then he wouldn't let me leave with my car, so I had to call the police again. So it was altercations all last night, yesterday, and then I wake up to the month today to see that a thousand dollars was taken out of my account. Damn! And it was on T-Mobile. Boost Mobile. You were dealing Boost Mobile. You said that was at 209. Where? The next market. The next shopping center. Yeah. Boost. That's Boost Mobile? And you said they were walking the whole time. I saw that you came from there. What time was the Boost Mobile one? 209. Maybe we can get a name off of it if they were dumb enough to go try to pay their account. After gathering enough information, the officer along with the victim traced the address and they got to a phone store. Yeah. Okay. What name did they give her? The name that they gave her, she said it was a random name, but they said Kobe Love. Oh man, that sounds like some bull. So y'all don't require IDs to open an account? Mm -hmm. Metro does and all the other, yeah, but we don't. Oh, that's probably why they knew to come here then. All right, Kobe Love. We only require them if it's a debit card. I mean, a credit card. We have to check. I don't know if it's 
But if they pay for debit card and they ask for a pin and they put it in, we don't require it at all. It's quite puzzling why the suspects not only got new phone lines, but they did it using fake names. Fortunately, the store's investigation worked, and they found out where the suspects actually lived. Two people that reside here, we know it's a long shot. We're trying to see if you might know what room they're staying in. Um, they committed a crime earlier. They had quality in key cards, so we know that they came from here. The clerk also saw them walking from here. Um, so we're just trying to see if we can uh, I think, I'm ID. Thinking, I'm thinking it's uh, 268. If you have a picture or something, I just came to one hour ago, and I haven't seen these people. Oh, you came an hour ago? Yeah. No, that's I, what I'm thinking. They've been here for long. I think it's 268. At first, the officers didn't find the two suspects in their room, but later that day, they got a call from the hotel that the duo had returned. Seeing this, it didn't take long for the officers to arrive to interrogate them. Hello, how are you doing today, ma'am? How are you? I'm to get a I'm also at the police department. You can step down this way and talk to me. Can you ID him when you come well, out? Well, they're trying to make the decision if they're going to come down there or not. Uh, I've, I've, your, um, ID on you? Today we're trying to say we were chasing him. I've, uh, but we are not chasing him. What's your last name? My name is Branch. Are you still talking to me? A-N-C-H. What's your first name? Ashley. A-S-H-L-E-N-C-H. Well done. What's your dad? Everybody need a chance. Do you know your driver's license number? Okay. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't have it. Okay. Is your name on the, name on the room? Uh, no, it's not. Are you the one who purchased the room? No. Who purchased the room for you? Uh, Michelle. Michelle who? Gamun. She should be here in just a minute. You have her phone number? I might get it out. I might get my phone. Give me a little rundown of what you did today. Uh, we went next door, got something to eat at the uh, Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, took um, a Uber over to a shell station, played ding dings over there, played the mm -hmm. uh, machines. Sorry, 20 years ready. That's it. Yes, Having heard Ashley's side of the story, Joshua was confronted, but instead of telling the truth, he gave an entirely different story from what Ashley had to say. They want to see to y'all from the property. Where the camera? Who? Waylon. 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 Good and where he was at uh, until he was detained, and when he was at, they were advised he was detained, there's still a reason. Who's this? The name that he provided me. All right, so the situation that we have at hand is we need to see who actually purchased the room. Um, well, what is the issue? We paid for the room. I'm going to stand by. Okay. So, why are they giving us? I have no clue. We just received a call here, so we're here trying to investigate what's currently going on. This, this Already works, okay, sir? It is quite surprising that even after being discovered, the duo still continued to lie. Somehow, they must have thought that they could outsmart the police by bending the story, but that, of course, wasn't going to work. Because you saying she got the room, she's saying somebody else got the room. Oh, uh, this morning, by any chance, did you happen to go across to the Shell's gas station? No. You did not? Okay. Oh, there's. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so I step out here real quick. You going to jail now? Stay right here. Turn around real quick. Put your hands behind your back for me, sir. I'll explain everything to you. Give me one second. Did all that for some vagina, bro. He spent all that on his side chick. I'll explain everything to you. Okay, 
Even after being arrested, Joshua did not stop with his tirade of lies. Came here today in reference to and going to the Shell's gas station. We already know for a fact that we're doing this work. To the Shell's gas station. Multiple times today. To do something to drink? And other stuff. What? You tell me. Just get something to drink. That's it? Yeah. Okay. So if we go in there right now, we're not going to find the debit card that you used this morning to take money off of a card. I don't know. That's not my room. You used the debit card. So if, if you it's know, not you, yours... If and I used the debit card, somebody gave me the debit card, give me the PIN number. All right, so break it down to me. Who gave it to you? The, the whoever's debit card was. Who, okay. There was, a girl, there, was a, there was a girl here, and she, she gave me her debit card and told me her PIN number. I mean, that's how I had the PIN number. What what girl, and what did she look like? Um, I don't know. Her name is Nia or something like that. I don't know. She had brown hair. I don't know. Brown hair. What did she look like? She's the best I can describe her. It's brown hair. Right. She came here to chill with you. Brown yeah. hair, and that's that's all you have? Yeah, I and mean, she gave me the PIN number to the card. That's the story you're going to stick with? It's, it's, it's true. I mean, how, how, how can I use an 18 card? How can I get the pin number if they didn't give it to me? I'm just making sure this is what you want to stick with. This is exactly what happened. Okay. Well, how did she get here today? I have no clue. Joshua was eventually charged with financial transaction card theft, identity fraud, and giving false information to a law enforcement officer, while Ashley was charged with probation violation, forgery in the first degree, false identification document, identity fraud, and possession of methamphetamine. If Damn! you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe. Good you spent all that money to smash a meth head. I would love to say you could have just did that for free, but I ain't never smashed no meth chick, so I'm wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twisms.